In this video, I want to show you some products that I use to do mathematics. Now, mathematics is one of those things where you don't need much. You just need something to write on and a piece of paper. But several people have been asking for this. They want to know what kind of calculator should they get? What kind of pencils should you get? What's the best paper to use? In this video, I'm going to show you all kinds of things that I use to do math. Some of them are better than others, and it really helps. I think it helps to have the right tools. It's like anything, if you're trying to accomplish a task, it's helpful to have the right tools, because if you have the right tools for the job, it makes it much easier. The same is true in mathematics. If you have good pencils, if you have good paper, and if you have a good calculator, you can do better because you're more comfortable. Math is really hard, and anything you can do that makes it easier is going to give you an advantage. It's going to give you an edge. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post videos on all kinds of stuff, mostly mathematics and science. All right, let's go ahead and look at some of these products. These are the Amazon Basics gel pens, and they come in a package where you get a ton of them, and these are just good all-around pens. Now, these aren't the best pens in the world. They're just budget-level pens that are pretty good. So I use these to do math and to write down notes and ideas throughout the day. So solid pens, they work great, and you get a ton of them. One of the big downsides of these pens is that you can't erase, right? So that's the con of using pen to do math, but a lot of people prefer pen over pencil. It just depends what you prefer. The Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition, this is probably the best ebook reader that you can get, and I'm really happy with it. Now, I normally don't talk a lot about ebooks. I do prefer physical books over ebooks, but I do have a Kindle that I use from time to time for reading. One of the things I like about this one is that it has like anti-glare protection, and if it gets a little bit wet, it's not a big deal. Like if it's drizzling or something, as long as you don't like throw it in a lake, this should be pretty good, but very happy with this. It's a little bit on the pricey side compared to some of these other products, but if you're a reader, this is one of the things that is really gonna change your life. We will look at the calculators soon, but first let me just show you this timer by Yoon Beowit. I think this is actually almost more useful than a calculator and a lot less expensive. You can use this timer to time your study sessions, which is useful, right? If you time your study sessions, what's going to happen is you're going to be more productive because you know you only have so much time. What I do is I always recommend 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes. Sit down and do 30 minutes of math and it's going to make a difference. In 30 minutes, you might only do one math problem depending on what you're doing, or you might do five or six. It just varies in the level of math but the act of doing math every day, the act of creating that daily habit and using a timer so that you can focus better. And this one is really good. There you can hear it. I have another timer, it's called the Time Timer, and I'll also leave a link in the description to that one. You've probably seen that one in my other videos. Both of them are good, both of them are excellent, and they're great for study sessions. I almost didn't include this calculator, but this is a super basic calculator. It's just very, very basic. It's by Amazon Basics. It's solar powered, so you don't have to worry about running out of electricity, which is really useful. You can always power it with the sun. So just an easy basic calculator, not much functionality, but quite affordable. A step up from that one is this one here by Katiga. This one is a little bit nicer. It's got bigger buttons. So if you are having a hard time seeing the small buttons, this can be a calculator that you can use. Again, very basic. It's not gonna have trig functions. It's not gonna have logarithms. Just a basic calculator for your most very basic needs. This is the TI-30X2S. This is a great calculator for anyone who needs a calculator that is not a graphing calculator. So if you're just gonna be like doing basic computations or taking a basic algebra class or a stats class, this should satisfy your needs. You don't necessarily need to get one of the better ones. So this is always an option. It's got trig functions, it's got logs, it's got exponentials, it's pretty basic. Now, a step up from this one is this one here. This is the TI-34 MultiView, and you can see here the screen, it has, it has more lines. You see it has a four-line screen, and it's just a little bit nicer than you know, the other one, right? It's just nicer, the format is nicer, it works a little bit better. You can type in the fractions and they look better. You see it's got like the pretty print where it says five over two, whereas on this one, if I do five divided by two, or five divided by five, you see it just looks like that. This one gives you the nice fraction. So it's a step up. Obviously it's going to cost more. So I would say if you can afford it, get this one. This is probably one of the nicest non-graphing calculators, right? This is not a graphing calculator. It is just a scientific calculator with all kinds of functionality. So if you have to choose between these two, get this one. I definitely recommend it. This one is awesome. This is the TI-84 Plus CE. 
This is a graphing calculator and it is absolutely incredible. Probably one of the most popular calculators in the world right here. The reason this one is so popular is because number one, it's a graphing calculator. These are not graphing calculators, right? None of the calculators I've shown you today are graphing except this one. Also, this one does not have a computer algebra system. So it's not going to do integration. It's not going to do differentiation. You might say, oh no, that's not good. You're right, it's not good. But it is good if you're a student in college because a lot of teachers, they won't let you use the ones that have those computer algebra systems. Like they won't let you use the 89 or the Inspire because they have those algebra systems. Personally, I never cared. I always asked my students to show their work and all was good. But not everyone thinks that way, right? Some teachers just downright you know, outlaw these. They're not allowed in the classroom. But this one, this one doesn't have that computer algebra system. So this one is allowed. It's those models that have those computer algebra systems that are usually banned in calculus classrooms. So this one doesn't have that, which makes it a great choice. So regardless of the teacher you take, you should be able to use this calculator. Again, it's the TI-84 Plus CE, really nice calculator. It's rechargeable and yeah, it's awesome. Wizard, that's right. You can be a math wizard with these supplies or at least they'll help you come closer, help you reach your top potential. So these are really fun. I use these to keep my place in books that I'm reading. And I also use these to make little notes, little to-do things that I'm doing throughout the day. They're sticky, so you can pull it off and it sticks, which makes it kind of nice. Here, I'll take, I'll take the A off here. So you can see, yeah, they're little stickies. It's awesome. Yeah, really worth it. Pencils, these are the Amazon Basics pencils. These are pretty good pencils. I'm also a big fan of Ticonderoga pencils, but I wanted to show you these because these are a little bit more affordable and you get more for your money, right? And I like how they come sharpened like this. Like they're sharpened nicely. They're not, they don't have that weird tip. I feel like they're ready to go right out of the box. They erase fairly well and they write fairly well. So good overall pencils if you plan on doing some mathematics. This is something I use a lot. I use this every day and I have a ton of these. This is just one example. This is by Tops. And so what this is, it's just a, a notebook. It's called a steno book. And what I do with this is I do math. Like if I'm doing math outside, I can sit down outside with this and do math because it has padding, right? So that makes it a little bit easier. It's also great for ideas. And yeah, just a really convenient way to have paper with you that you can use to do math. You can use loose paper as well, but this is kind of like space saving. So if you have a small desk, this can be beneficial. Or if you wanna do math outside, it's very beneficial. This is my sharpener. I love this sharpener. It is not a mechanical one. I used to have a mechanical one and I had it for years and it was great. But I like this one because it's space saving. I have so much stuff on my desk. It is ridiculous, but this is really small. It doesn't take up a lot of room. And then when you're done using it, you just press here and you can empty it out into the trash can, which makes it really, really convenient. And it's very easy to close as well. Let's see, there we go, right? Good stuff. It also has two holes. I don't know what that's for, graphite color. I guess it's for like a bigger, a bigger uh, pencil, but you see, works fantastic. Yeah, I've had it for a while and I like it. This is actually a bamboo book holder. That's right, it's made of bamboo, it's awesome. So let me show you how it works. I have a book here, which I love. All the Math You Missed, uh, this is by Thomas Garrity and wonderful book, I recommend it. So you can set this here and you can take this and do this. You can take this one and do this. And then what you can do is you can read your book, right? You have it up, very useful. Right, super, super useful. Very nice for displaying books, very nice for reading books. Um, I use this all the time. And it folds up pretty nicely, let me show you. So what you can do is you can do this, right? It does that. And then back here, see that? Super easy, so it's easy to put away. And when you're ready to set it up, you just basically do this. And then you can adjust how high it is here. By You can make it high, lower, 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 etc. So yeah, very, very useful. And I think it's worth it. I'm very happy that I bought this. This is premium paper. That's right. This is like fancy paper. It's very, very nice. It's very good. Here's the packaging. It's Hammer Mill premium inkjet and laser paper. And it's just very high quality. It's definitely higher quality than just like your generic paper, but it also costs a lot more. It's very thick and very heavy duty. Let me show you another paper I have. So the other paper I have is this one here, and this is much thinner, still very good quality. The brand is also Hammer Mill, 
but this is multi-purpose paper. So there's a price difference between the multi-purpose and the premium paper. And there's certainly a quality difference. Let me hold them up both to the light so you can see the difference. Okay, let me see if you can see the difference. So you see here, this one is more see-through than this one. So the one on the left is the higher quality paper. The one on the right is the poorer quality paper. Both work great and I bought both, but I definitely like the higher quality paper. Also notice that none of this paper has lines. That's just a thing I have. I met this guy once and he was the smartest guy I ever met and he didn't use lines for his paper. And I decided, wow, uh, maybe that's something to it. There's something to it there, right? Why is he not using lines? And I feel like the lines kind of constrict you when you're doing math because you have so many symbols. Sometimes you want to write big, sometimes you want to write small. So by having a blank canvas, kind of like a board, I just think it's more conducive to a productive math environment. I enjoy doing math on paper with no lines. So those are some supplies that you can use to help take it to the next level. Again, you don't really need much for math, just something to write with and something to write on, but it helps to have you know, things that you like using, you know, things like a Kindle if you like reading ebooks, things like a nice calculator if you want a nice calculator, good pencils, good paper, a timer. The timer is so useful. And a book holder is also a nice perk. And I really, really love these notebooks. They are really fun. By the way, this book is awesome and it covers so much math. It's certainly going to expose you to more math than you can even imagine. It is ridiculous how much math that book contains. I hope this video has been helpful. And yeah, if you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button. Until next time, good luck, take care, and go out there and do your best.